What is up, Swithers? It's Jay here, and today I wanted to start off by first thinking Metabolic Frolic. He had a comment telling me to turn off camera shake, and I got confused because I thought he was talking about the video. I used a little bit of camera shake in my editing, so I thought he was talking about that. But he was actually talking about something in game. Well, there's a setting that we all need to turn off if you have not turned it off that will help you with the timing for your counters. So that could be the reason why your counters feel like they're not registering. It could be because of that camera shake. So this video was highly requested because a lot of people were struggling with these super counters and the thing about it is is you're going to want to do it when you assume that you will be hit that is the perfect way to put it so you want to put the input at the moment you think you will be impacted sorry i'm pressing all the wrong buttons so right there i, I just guess it's really a guesstimating game because it's basically saying on impact is when you press the input also, I want to say this because I was doing it first at first as well. Do not spam it unless you got the technique down. Because usually I'm doing it towards every single punch that Piccolo does. But the last one I know for sure I can do because it's a little slower. So try not to spam it. Try to be on timing with it. As you see. Like, sometimes if I already know that the whole combo is going to land, I'll wait. Like, for example, and I will just wait for the last one. Sometimes that is a lot easier than trying to do every single punch that he does. As you can see, sometimes you just got to bail out. Not going to lie. But sometimes you can do it mid-combo. So don't give up 100%. As you can see, it's just really about, you know what I'm saying, just watching your opponent, watching his attack, and trying to time against that. And you're not going to get it, as you can see. It's not 100% every time. Like, sometimes I'm consistent, sometimes I'm not. It just it just really depends on the game, honestly, and who I'm fighting. Like, if I'm fighting Berter, 9 out of 10, I'm just going to evade. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'm just going to... I'm just going to use high-speed ev uh, evasions or perceptions. And don't forget, though... If you make it that far, you can also just evade that. I've, honestly, I find um, evasion is a lot easier when it gets to this last one. And I'll show you if I don't get it. Oh, there we go. I got it. All right, I'm going to just show you. This time, I'm not going to go for a super counter. I'll show you what I mean. All right, I failed that completely. But watch. I failed it again. Hold on. <laughs> I swear it's easy. That. Sometimes you can even do that one. See, I can get, I can guarantee get one of them consistently. I say that and then I get clapped. <laughs> yeah, see, I can get this one pretty consistently. I say that every time I did, I get clapped. So that's why I'm saying you should always practice the multiple counters. Because I could do this all day, honestly. I could really do this all day. This is nothing. But super counters, I just feel like you can get more bang for your buck from learning those. Because those seem like they can counter everything. But I'm pretty sure everything can. Let's see. But yeah, once you get there, though, the game gets a lot easier. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope this helped. If not, I'll try to go into it again, but honestly, I, it's hard to explain. But good luck out there, fighters, and uh, happy sparking zero week. There we go.